Glenn Greenwald starting his own news agency? Today is Saturday, October 19th, 2013. One ounce of silver is $22. One Bitcoin is $153. Peace News Now is brought to you by Bitcoin from friendsofweusecoins.com. Learn about the world's favorite alternative currency at weusecoins.com. Glenn Greenwald is leaving The Guardian newspaper. Greenwald is the reporter who's been releasing formerly unknown information thanks to NSA whistleblower Edward Snowden. He wasn't ready to announce this news, but the info leaked. Greenwald said, quote, My partnership with The Guardian has been extremely fruitful and fulfilling. I have high regard for the editors and journalists with whom I worked, and am incredibly proud of what we achieved. The decision to leave was not an easy one, but I was presented with a -a once-in-a-career dream journalistic opportunity that no journalist could possibly decline. My role, aside from reporting and writing for it, is to create the entire journalism unit from the ground up by recruiting the journalists and editors who share the same journalistic ethos and shaping the whole thing, but especially the political journalism part, in the image of the journalism I respect most. A philanthropist has put up the money for the new venture, and Greenwald said he looked forward to creating a new organization with, quote, no pre-existing institutional strictures on what you can do. This is sure to be a game changer for the old establishment. In other news, Philly cop Philip Nace has been pulled off the streets. No, he's not one of the dozens of Philly cops who's been arrested for assault, theft, rape, drug dealing, or fraud. Not one, but two separate videos of him surfaced this week, acting in what a police spokesman called, quote, idiotic behavior. Philly.com reports that Nace was recently recorded knocking down a basketball hoop and telling the guys with the ball to have a good day as he drives away in a police van. Just a week before, Nace was filmed in the same neighborhood mouthing off and pulling random people off the sidewalks for searches. No, he's not being fired. Instead, he's being transferred to a useless department where he'll continue to collect a paycheck on your dime. Are you willing to pay for men with guns to harass you and your neighbors? Share your thoughts on the Peace News Now Facebook page. This story brought to you by friends of blockchain.info. Download the free Bitcoin wallet at blockchain.info. GlassPay is a Google Glass app that lets you pay for things with bitcoins. The app scans the UPC of any product in a store and keeps a running checklist of items in your shopping cart. When you've got everything you want, just walk out of the store without waiting in a checkout line. It's all good. You already paid with bitcoins. This is a win-win for businesses and consumers. There's next to zero transaction fees when compared with credit cards. Plus, stores can track items more accurately. This app is slated to be released in nine months. Will you use it? On October 26th, the 12th anniversary of the signing of the U.S. Patriot Act, the largest rally ever against NSA surveillance is coming to D.C. The rally against mass surveillance will involve marchers handing the half million petitions to members of Congress, declaring they won't tolerate mass surveillance any longer. According to the website at rally.stopwatching.us, thousands of people across the political spectrum will attend the rally. Over half a million people have signed the petition at stopwatching.us, and more than a hundred companies from across the political spectrum have joined the campaign. The group is demanding Congress do the following. To change the law to forbid warrantless spying, to create a committee to investigate the spying and figure out how to end it, and to hold individuals responsible for spying accountable for their actions. There will be lobby day trainings on Friday morning in which legal experts will give an overview of NSA surveillance. They'll also share helpful talking points and handouts and prepare attendees to personally lobby the secretaries of Congress people. The group has already pre-scheduled meetings for this purpose. Some say this is the most effective way for an individual to influence Congress, besides bribes. Peace News Now is on the next news network and is brought to you by friends of WeUseCoins.com. Share this episode with your friends, and if you enjoyed it, send some Bitcoin to donate.peacenewsnow.com. I'm Derek J, reminding you that peace is the way.